How do I put this? G'day folks, my name's Dale Kingsmill. I'm putting up a real, a real quick D&D video today because uh, I had some technology problems, not entirely resolved yet, uh, that meant that I kind of missed a week of videos and I just uploaded the storytelling video, the fairy tale, uh, but I thought I'd get get a quick little sort of half video in here as well to make up for the gap. This concept isn't an extravagant one by any means, uh, it just, it's something that I started thinking about when um, uh, someone on Twitter started asking about a player who wanted to be a knight and I was discussing with her the uh, the rules as written that exist for having knight as a uh, player background. A lot of people missed that but it's it's under noble, it's a variant background for a noble is that you can be a knight. And I did spend a little while thinking about it and, and I think it, it's probably a pretty common thing that uh, that players want to have a go at being a knight. That's, an, that's a cool thing. But the question in particular was regarding squires, a knight and their squires. Now the rules as written uh, do allow for squires. They say specifically that a character with the background of knight uh, can have three retainers, one of which is a squire. Mostly they're there to, uh, you know, look after your horse or, you know, clean your armor. It help you put on your armor, stuff like that, send messages. None of them can fight for you. They aren't allowed to fight for you. And that's fine, I think that's like perfectly decent. That's a, a nice little background feature. But the actual question, by the way, that was being asked on Twitter was who runs uh, the squires or, or the retainers? Is it the player or is it the DM? I'm quite a firm believer in uh, that school of thought in which the DM runs the social side of an NPC that's attached to a character in that way. So a retainer or even an animal companion. You run all the social stuff for the player, whereas the player runs them tactically. And in combat they get to just say the person does this. That's how I personally like to, to run that. So then the more I thought about it, the trickier the rules as written become, because then you have uh, three whole characters that you as a DM are having to run the whole time that they're with the party socially, but they can't fight, so the player doesn't get the, the fun of running them tactically. So it's a lot of work for you and a lot of underwhelming for the player. So of course I dabbled with it and came up with my own idea because that's what I do. I wound up with a with a very simple uh, little system here. First things first, you don't get three retainers, one of which is a squire, you just get one squire. And that squire is allowed to fight with you, but you gotta be careful about it because if you're not, they're gonna get smushed, they'll squish, squish the squire. So here we go. Uh, First of all, you pick up a page when you're level one. If you pick knight as your background, you can pick up a page as your background bonus. And they come with this beautiful array of stats. You can't see it on camera for many reasons, but this is a whole lot of tens. It's just one whole string of tens for all of their ability stats. They have an AC of 10. Hit points eight because I'm not a monster. Attack bonus plus zero, no skill proficiencies. They are level nil right now. Level not applicable. They have no proficiencies because the whole point of them being with you is that you're training them. By the end of training with you, they will be proficient in some things, but right now, they got zip. So yeah, level not applicable page, you probably don't want to send into battle. They're probably going to be better served cooking for you, or cleaning your armor, or sharpening your sword, or sending messages for you. But every time that you level up, they're gonna level up as well. Starting at level not applicable, they will then move on to the illustrious level zero, then on to one eighth, one quarter, one half, and finally, first level. They officially get the title of squire at uh, the one eighth phase, level 1 8th. That is not important, but it's just how I've written out my notes, so I'm telling you as well. Every time you level up your page slash squire, they get one point for you to spend along their ability scores, and then you also get to choose whether they are headed in a direction that is aggressive, defensive, or studious. If they are defensive, they get one point added to their armor class, and one point added to their hit point pool. If they are aggressive, they get one point added to their attack bonus. Keep in mind at this point that they don't get proficiency bonuses. So don't go freaking out thinking that giving a plus one to their attack bonus is gonna be the equivalent of like a magic sword. And finally, if they are studious for that level, then uh, you get to pick a skill in which they are proficient, at which point they get to add your proficiency bonus to those skill checks. So maybe you think, I want my squire to be more stealthy because he keeps tripping over. I say to that, 
Teach your squire to sneak. On paper, without thinking about it too hard, some of the numbers that you're coming up with as maximum totals might seem very alarming, but be cool because at most, the character's gonna be getting a plus six to their attack or whatever. And that is at the expense of, you know, they're gonna be likely to die because they still have an armor class of 10 and eight hit points. So someone could max them out and say, this is the only thing they're good at, um, but it, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> and finally, uh, once they have reached level one, which should be by the time your character is leveling up to level six, upon reaching level one, They've graduated, they've become a knight. You knight them and you send them on their way. They are officially a knight now, and you know what that means? It means they get to take on a PC class and be a super cool NPC ally that you built yourself and that is now set loose onto the world. I just really like that idea that that's the ultimate reward, is a cool NPC ally who's only gonna be there sometimes. But like you watched them grow in such a close way. And then also, uh, I was talking about this with my brother and he pointed out, you could use this to build your own knightly order from scratch. You could be like, here I am, the first knight of the ruby order. Reference. And then once they graduate, they're a knight of the ruby order and they can take on pages and squires as well. And then slowly over time, you're building your order. If you've got the strongholds and followers book, I'm pointing over here because it's open on my computer right now, then you can set up a stronghold from which the order operates. Sometime when you're level 20 and you're having an epic struggle and there's no way that you're gonna be able to do this, the odds are too huge, you can call on your Knights of the Ruby Order to all come to your aid and they'll all bring their knights that they made from squires. And it's just, I, guys, I never really wanted to play a character who is a knight with a squire, but now I kind of do. So anyway, that's it. Uh, the, the squire operates in levels under one. Uh, when they hit level one, they graduate. They level every time you level. And when they level, they get to put one point into their ability scores, and they get to uh, take an extra point in either aggressive, defensive, or studious. And the benefit is that your player gets to run their squire tactically and you don't have to run a whole lot of retainers socially. MCDM's uh, Strongholds and Followers book also has rules that kind of more generally apply to having sidekicks, more broadly applicable to just lots of stuff. So hey, check that out if you're interested. Apart from that, I do believe that's it. I'm done. Email this to your grandma and I will see you some other time. I never walk off left. Let's try that. What was the other thing I was gonna say? I don't know. I should. It's my head. But I don't. I don't.